what's up you guys welcome back to my chanel and to another key key kind of video i'm sitting on the floor so you know the tea is about to be piping hot if you're new here my name is angela i do fashion try on hauls some makeup videos a little bit of lifestyle i'm about to get into vlogging but mostly i just talk a lot of <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm finally going to be talking about where I'm moving to. This has been much anticipated, much awaited. I've teased it for legit years now <laughs> and now I'm finally moving in a couple weeks. So I feel like I'm giving very much where in the world is Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Am I aging myself with this one? Like, where in the world is Angela Babbage? I don't know. It's probably not funny to you Gen Zers, but... Millennials know what's up, but before we get into today's video I have to give a major shout out to Yandy for not only sponsoring this video, but sending me the cutest costumes ever As you can see I've already dug into them. I couldn't help myself as soon as they came in I ripped them open and tried them on. I really wanted to do like an unboxing for this, but I legit could not help myself. They are so, so cute. And if you've been living under a rock, Yandy is your one-stop shop to everything sexy. You know I'm all about empowerment and that is Yandy's mission. They want men and women to feel empowered and sexy in all aspects of their life, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And these costumes definitely do that for me. This is definitely a full circle moment for me. I have shopped with Yandy practically every Halloween since I turned I don't know 18 or 19 <laughs> because I knew I was gonna have the sexiest costume the best quality costume and everyone would compliment me <laughs> that sounds so narcissistic but Yandy never failed me so I'm gonna try on these two costumes that they sent me both of these are part of their animal collection so you let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below but let's head over to the mirror to try these bad boys on okay so this is the first one this is the sexy cougar costume. I don't know if you guys remember, but Kim K made this costume iconic like, I don't know, 10 years ago. And every Halloween, I think of this costume. And I'm like, do I want to wear it this year? Do I? This year, we're bringing out the classic Kim K. This is form fitting and sexy but not too revealing if that is your thing and sometimes i feel like more is more like i feel like i'm showing a lot without like showing a lot if you catch my drift but it comes with this unitard with the tail attached i think that's like the cutest part and then this necklace and ears and i definitely feel like a cougar now that i'm turning 31. hate to say it but i feel like i look good for 31. and if i'm a cougar so what i'll take a little 23 year old boyfriend period this is so soft and comfy i hate costumes that are itchy and uncomfortable i feel like i'm at that point where it's like when i go out i want to look good and feel good too and this just does it for me. Look, I'm in the bushes like a real cat. Meow. On a scale of one to cheetah girl, where do you rate this costume? Let me know. Okay, are you guys not deceased? This is the bunny squad costume. It's giving very much short, 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 shorts. <laughs> but it comes with everything you see here, including these socks, shorts, top, sweat wristbands, and the ears. This is such a cute costume. This is so cute. I've never worn anything like this before, especially for Halloween, but I'm kind of digging it. Does anybody want to play 1v1? Is that what they call it? Shirts versus skins. I'll be shirts because I'm not taking off my costume. What do you guys think? This is legit such a cute costume and it's so well made too. Like this feels like a legit jersey. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not one of those like thin materials that just feels like very cheap like it legit feels like i'm wearing a uniform right now so i'm looking the part feeling the part so cute seriously how cute are those costumes thank you yandy once again for sponsoring this video let me know in the comments below which one i should wear because i'm actually gonna be going out for halloween this year i think <laughs> 
At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to because of the way my move was set up, but plans have changed, so let's get into it. Let me get comfortable for this. I've had literally the longest day ever. When I tell you I didn't eat all day, I spent half the day crying, the other half driving, <laughs> speeding, um, dragging my mom everywhere. It's It's been a nightmare, but let's rewind back to, I guess it's maybe July or August. I had been talking to my friend about moving and wanting to leave the state because I didn't like the weather here. And even though I loved my building, I just felt like I had become complacent and a little bit too comfortable and I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone. And you know, who is... Anyway, I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and basically force myself to go out more. And if you know anything about Jersey, you don't go out in Jersey. You have to travel to either, well, you can if you live near Hoboken. You would either have to go to Hoboken, which is in New Jersey, or to the city. So it's a drive no matter what, unless you live in those areas. I also wanted to elevate my content and not just have all my photos and videos be in my apartment because... I don't know, maybe that's interesting for you guys, but for me, it's like, I just kind of wanted to spice up my content. So I was like, I need to move out of state. I was talking to my friend and she was like, why don't you move to Miami? And I was like, really? Like, I really don't like Miami like that. I'm not a partier. So she was like, Brickle would be absolutely perfect for you. There's people your age and it's not like a party scene. It's more like chill. There's a bunch of really great restaurants and just the vibe is everything you're looking for. So ever since then, I kind of had my heart on Brickle and I had planned to go to Miami in August to move at the end of August. But then as you guys know, or if you didn't know, if you didn't watch those videos, my dog got sick and needed emergency surgery. So I postponed my move for a few months to make sure that she was okay to not only travel, but also to acclimate to a new area, a new apartment. Like, like I have to think that it's not only me moving, it's her moving too. And some people might not consider their dog a factor in where they're moving or why they're moving, but I do. I consider Nala with everything that I do, so I decided to postpone my move and I set a new move out date, which I'm not going to tell you guys because it might still be my date. So after I set a new move out date, I decided that it would be better for me to travel to Miami when I got closer to the date so I could know exactly what unit I'd be getting. Because if you look at units too far in advance, it's not like they could hold the unit for you for like 60 or 90 days. Like it's like what they have available at that point in time will most likely not be available in a month or two. So I scheduled the trip for the end of September, September 30th to be exact, and I was going to take my mom. Unfortunately, my mom was having health issues. I mean, she still is, but she's doing better. And I had to change the plan, which was like the first thing that went wrong. Um, and I decided to take my friend instead. And my friend was nice enough to schedule the entire trip and like plan all of the appointments with the apartments that I had been looking at and wanted to see and so that was really helpful. So this was like last week, huh? Wow. So I wound up going down to Miami with my friend instead. I don't know if I'm going to post that vlog. Miami didn't really go as as planned and my vlog is kind of all over the place so I haven't really decided yet but I'm pretty much covering everything in this video anyway. So fast forward, we're in Miami and I have four appointments lined up, two on Thursday and two on Friday. And I kind of figured that while we're there, if we're passing, you know, buildings that I like, I would just call them and make appointments on the spot, which is what wound up happening. So the first appointment we go to, we this is like, what's that? Um, the story time with the porridge and the porridge is too hot. And then she goes to the next hut and the porridge is too cold. And then the porridge, whatever, whatever fairy tale that is. That's what it reminded me of. We go to the first appointment and the broker is really 
confused as to why we're there. She's like, there's no units available. And my friend was like, oh, well, I just called to confirm like yesterday. And you said that, yeah, we're good to come. And I don't know. They were just very confused there. There was also a major construction site right next door, which wouldn't have worked out for me anyway. Like it's going to be loud as shit now, like now. The second appointment I went to or we went to that day was at another building that I liked, but it just wasn't, it wasn't perfect. It didn't give me the warm fuzzies. I thought the unit was cute, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't me. So the next day we had two more appointments and we went to the first one in the morning and it was weird because when we got there, they went, we got there a little bit early. We thought that the building was an hour away. It was really only 20 minutes and they refused to see us like even a minute before like the concierge was kind of rude which was another sign like now that i'm like looking back i'm like damn like there were all these signs that like this wasn't you know this wasn't it so i finally see the building i see the units i fall in love i mean gorgeous the units that i saw specifically were gorgeous and then the broker that i met there said that another broker was moving out from one of the units it was a beautiful unit it would be perfect for me i was originally looking for a two bedroom but these one bedrooms that he was showing us were massive i mean like i could have built a studio inside of the closet alone it was sick and so without even seeing it because he had he had walked us outside and pointed to the unit and also showed me a comparable unit that was on a lower floor but it had the same layout right and i was like oh perfect like this is on a higher floor it has better views like sunset views like sign me up so we start going through the application process and i had to finish the application process back at the hotel and at this point i'm like i don't even want to see any other buildings like i have fallen in love with this one this is where i want to be this is where i'm going to be i submit my tax returns my bank statements he already had my id i had already submitted my social and i'm like okay i'm good to go right he lets me know it'll be about five days before i get approved which is totally fine and that's it. I canceled the rest of my appointments. We enjoyed the rest of our weekend and then I came home. So this is this is this week, right? This is today is Thursday. I got home on Sunday. I don't know when I'm posting this video, but just to give you like how like my perspective of time. So today, today I get a call at 1 p.m. from my broker saying, "Hey, actually, I made a huge mistake." the unit is much smaller than the unit that i showed you and not only that the closet is much smaller and i'm like what do you mean he's like i'm gonna facetime you i'm like no 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 don't facetime me i want to see a video so i could like send it to my friends and stuff so he sends me a video before i even get a chance to open the video i get an email saying that my application has been declined and so i call him and i'm like what's going on i'm talking to you right now how is my application decline he goes let me talk to my manager so he talks to the manager and says oh my manager had to decline your application because you didn't submit your social security card i thought i just had to submit my social security number not my actual social security card like they wanted a copy of my card mind you i have never been asked for my social security card ever except for when i went to get my passport and that was what like 10 years ago so i don't even have this on me it's at my mom's house and I'm like panicking. I'm like, I'm like going through my stuff. I'm screaming. I'm crying. Like I'm calling my mom. She's like, she really like calmed me down. And I'm like, that's it. I'm going to your house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look through the papers. And what's crazy is I have my birth certificate. I have my passport, my ID. I have everything. And I just didn't have my social security card. So I go to my mom's house and she's literally an angel she left work to come meet me at the house and help me look for this card and like within five minutes of her looking for the card i'm like this is not gonna work for me like i something is telling me that i shouldn't move there so i text my broker and i'm like you know what you're right the unit is too small it's nothing like what you showed me so i'm going to rescind my application because he was going to reopen it as soon as i sent the social security card he's like oh bet like just send that and we'll reopen your application you'll be good so i told him just to not even bother reopening it that i was no longer interested in the unit because i mean like come on dude like it's a completely different unit 
so much smaller like it wouldn't have worked i sent it to my friends and my mom they're like you could never you would never be able to fit in there the whole point of me leaving where i'm at right now is to get more for my money in miami and if i'm not getting more <laughs> then why, why would i go right i'm like ma come come over to the to the computer in her house i'm like come over to the computer help me find a new place so she comes over to the computer and like all of a sudden it clicks in my head i'm like you know I don't think Miami is for me. I don't want to be away from you. I don't want to, you know, take Nala, bring her to Miami and not have anybody be able to watch her when I, you know, have to travel. I think I'm better off just staying here. And it was just like in a split second, like I knew exactly what I had to do. And I was like, if I'm going to stay here, let me call my building and see if they have any larger units. And I'm telling you, the management in this building, they are angels <laughs> they have dealt with me and me changing my mind so many times if you really if you want a good apartment in north jersey like this is the best this is the best building um i've seen so many around like i've seen so many around here it's ridiculous and i live in the best building so if you are interested in moving to this area dm me i'll hook it up for you but um, I called them and they were like, yeah, we have units available. We would love for you to stay. And I just, I just feel so at home here. So I did look at some units today. I was showed the most gorgeous, gorgeous two bedroom units with the craziest views that I didn't even know existed in this building. I thought I had good views, sweetie, sweetie, wait till you see this unit. So I am moving just like down the hall. <laughs> Which is so um, crazy and exciting and also like, again, a complete change of plans for me. But I'm so excited to start this next chapter. I'm going to have more space. I'm going to have an office. I'm going to have more room than I need. I'm going to have so much extra space for content. And, you know, I won't be tripping over wires anymore. And I'm just, I'm just so excited to move into this unit. Like, yeah. So your girl isn't moving to Miami anymore. Your girl is staying in Jersey. I guess you can't take the Jersey out of the girl or what was it saying? You can't, you could take the girl out of Jersey, but you can't take Jersey out of the girl. Well, I'm not even leaving Jersey. But that is the story. I will still be taking you on my moving journey, even if it's just down the hallway. But thank you guys for putting up with me and all of these changed plans. I had to sit down and tell you guys all this crazy news because today has been the longest day of my life. And I seek you guys for comfort. And I'm just so happy that you're a part of my family. And I cannot wait to take you guys on this next journey. But until next time, I gotta go to bed, okay? I think I've vented quite enough. I will see you in the next video. Love you.